Hello, I'm Michael Boyanjin, and I'm going to be talking to you about one of my books, The Armenians of India. And um, the Armenians ended up in India. Uh, well, first of all, there was this, uh, they were uh, mixed in with Greek colonies from the time of Alexander the Great. But the first large numbers started to move out of uh, Persia. Uh, when the sultan that uh, transported all the Armenians out of uh, the Ottoman Empire uh, passed away, uh, discrimination rose, and the uh, new rulers of Persia were not crazy about the Armenians. So they started to migrate over to India. And uh, the uh, rulers of India liked the Armenians and wanted them uh, to settle there because he wanted to increase his... Uh, uh, world trade and, and the Armenians were good traders and merchants. And uh, so they established uh, trading communities in several cities in India and uh, uh, pretty much monopolized the uh, uh, trading routes in that area. So much so that when the Europeans wanted to come in, uh, the British, for instance, went to the Armenians and asked them to speak to the Indian rulers about uh, setting up uh, trading posts. And uh, that's basically part of the story. There were 40,000 Armenians living in um, India at its peak. They built a lot of churches there. They, that, that was their tie back to Armenia was their churches. Today, there's only 100 Armenians living in all of India. But the churches remain and are visited frequently by Indians who are curious about the Armenians. Thank you.